here we are, build the spark again. Um, this video is a little is just going to be pointing you to another video, and um, I just want to come at you. I want to come today with um, a conviction on my heart and a praiseworthy heart. So a convicted, praiseworthy heart. Uh, my heart has been burdened with revival for my family, for my church, my community, and my town, uh, my county, and my country. And it's not only me, obviously, I see, and it's just everywhere. And God, but personally, God has picked me up and placed me and planted me in the pathway of like-minded believers. And to have the same burden in the same way. And um, so, revival praying has been severe to me lately. And um, it has, it's just... My heart did really good today to hear the um to hear the national gathering of prayer and repentance that are that are it was in Washington this morning and that's kind of where I want to point you at today, but um I know as believers that we um we do we want we're burdened for the world and our world's gone crazy and what are we gonna do and you know to each their own blah 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 and but we can't do anything about it but we can and so God has laid it on my heart to what we can do what I can do is to fall on my face in repentance and ask forgiveness for my sins and the sins of our nation. And um, it says, if my people, right, if my people will call. So if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves. He's not talking about the lost and dying world. He is talking about me. He is talking about me as a believer, as I call him my father. So he is called, he's talking to me. So he's just led me to, Lord, I fall on my face in repentance and ask forgiveness for my disobedience, for not listening to your voice, for running from your ways, for, um, for anything standing in the way of communion with him. Anything at all standing in the way, I ask him to reveal anything to my heart and my mind that, that would be, would be hindering that communion with him. And, um. My main point is, again, to point you to this national gathering of prayer and repentance, which was just amazing. It was a heartfelt, um, it was just a, such a burst of just spirit-filled believers. And I'm not, um, I'm not going to do clips and stuff because I'm not the world's best YouTuber. I just want to proclaim the, the love of Jesus. And I hope that that points you to him. I hope that God is glorified in, in every video that we do and every thing that we do and the whole point of build the spark is to build the spark within your heart and the spark of revival the spark of revival is any kind of any extra um commitment to god so if you start praying 30 seconds extra every day to god that's a revival in your spirit a revival in your heart and in your mind and um that 30 extra seconds of devotion to him is revival that's what that is any kind of extra devotion that you put in your heart into and I just love that. But um, so I'm not going to do clips or anything of that because it's so worth to set aside some time um, to pray with our believers, our brothers and sisters in Christ, standing up and repenting of their own sins and pleading the blood of Jesus over our country. It was beautiful. It was amazing, spirit filled and worth your time to watch. Um, we need to pray for this country. Um to we we always we sit and say we need to pray for our country and God bless this country. Let's put some action behind that. And that is what our our congressman did today. That is what our our um capital did today at the uh, Washington the Museum of Bible of the Bible in Washington and they put action. They put some prayer action behind um behind this and behind the prayer behind just saying let's pray about this. They just they put action behind it. And um so I'm just encouraging you to watch it and sit in agreement with these men and women, these brothers and sisters. There are brothers and sisters in Christ as they, um, at, they've also been ordained where they are. God has led them to and called them into the positions that they're in. And they're in positions that they can actually do something about these things that affect our families and affect our children and affect our country. And um, I come to you with a convicted heart and want to say, stand up. Um, I was convicted. Just stand up. Don't be ashamed as much as um, it's it's okay to do a video of, God, of, of praising God. It's okay to um, pray for this nation. It's okay to say, 
the world has lost its way. The world, the world is not standing on biblical principles anymore. There is so much wickedness in our world. It's okay to say that and still love, love. It's okay. I love, love, love everyone. Every person, every person is a creation of our Almighty Father. And I love every single person that is on this earth. And um, they are all create. They are all creations of the God Almighty, and um, so all of these people, um, for praying repentance, and these people were praying repentance and deliverance for their own sins, and they were doing it in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Like they were praying to the God Almighty, praying and praising Him to continue His mercy over this country, um, just like. We have absolutely no idea the mercy and grace that God has given us. And um, praying and proclaiming his mighty words of truth. So many of them, so many of them declared Jeremiah 33, 33, that God said to call unto me and he will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. We They proclaimed that word, call unto me and he will answer. That's what his scripture says, that we call unto him and he will answer answer. He will answer. So many of them proclaim that. And to draw near to him, draw nigh to him, and he will draw nigh to us. Um, it's all about a call to surrender. We want things to change in our country. Then we have to each surrender our own lives. We have to each surrender our own homes. We have to each surrender our own families, our churches, our communities. We have to surrender it all to the mighty will of our God. We have to do that. And that's where it's going to start. That's where it's going to change. And each generation is falling farther and farther and farther away from him. So it is our job to teach our children to hold fast to the truth, the mighty word of our father. And to seek him first in all things. And these things will be added unto him. His word says that. His word says, seek ye first and you, all of these things will be added. Seek ye first in the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. His word says that, and I believe it. I believe that if you call unto him, that he will answer because his word says it. Everything in his word is true. Every word is, is truth. And that is what's going to set this world free. That is what's going to set this, this country free. And I, again, his word says it and I believe it. And that's the mighty thing of these people, these brothers and sisters in Christ that are in positions of leaders in our country, that God ordained them in those positions. And they are praying, pleading the blood of Jesus over our country. That the only answer to our country is Jesus. And they know this. So if we stand in agreement, the link to the, the prayer meeting is in the description. And I just urge you to take the time to watch it and pray in agreement with our leaders that God has ordained them again into these positions for a fresh anointing, for a fresh anointing over our country, for a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit over our country, our families, our churches, our communities, and the world that was created by our almighty God. The world that was created by our almighty God. So I just urge you to watch it and um, again, just stand in agreement with it. And praise his name. Praise his name. We we have the answer. We have the answer to everything. And that is Jesus. He is the answer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is. And I'm just praising that we still have believers out there. We still have believers out there in authority positions that believe in him. And plead the blood of Jesus over. That was one thing that the video wanted to show us. That... They, that God is answering our prayers to put people in those positions. There are so many people in Washington that God has called there that are pleading the blood over this place. And I just praise God for them and I just lift them up and just um, proclaim uh, protection over them. And um, I mean, they were just pray They were praying in repentance for where they've been cowardice, where ca where they've been, um, they haven't been bold and haven't been courageous, and they're just repenting of that and want to stand firm in His Word and His truth. I mean, come on, like praise God, praise God. Let's surrender our hearts, surrender our minds, surrender our families, for surrender to God Almighty, and see what happens to this country. Let's just see what happens. Again, I say it, oh, taste and see. Just taste, just try, just try. Walk by and just try. Just try to give everything to him. 
just see what ha and see what happens. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Um, I love you guys and I'm praying for you guys and I pray that this video blesses you. Amen. God bless.